So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm going to do differently during this challenge than I have in challenges past. And we all have heard that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. Well, guess what? That pretty much sums up what my raw food experience has been so far. And I have a feeling that it pretty much sums up what a lot of your raw food experiences have been like so far, too. Start out great. Everything is going fine. I'm looking at all these wonderful foods I can have. Chocolate and, ooh, I can make donut holes. And I can have this. And I can make this little sweet concoction. And I can put tons of fruit in the blender and make a big green smoothie for myself. And then I can eat some nuts. And then, you know, I can have another piece of pie. And guess what? <laughs> Not really having a lot of... Um, success losing weight on a raw food diet. Now, I did come to the raw food lifestyle from a place of pain. I came here because, you know, I thought I would be crippled by the time I was 40. I had horrible joint pain. I was barely able to get out of bed. I've since discovered that that was a gluten allergy, so bye-bye gluten, and I'm living a pain-free life. But I'm still carrying around all of this weight that um, is really affecting the quality of my life. My belly, let's just see it. Come on, let's look at it. She's mighty. Okay, okay. I look kind of like a normal person when I'm standing from the front, right? When I turn to the side, yeah, look at that. Nice. Yeah, go ahead. If you want to use this video on your website to make fun of me, okay, go ahead. Don't bother me. I'm quite aware of how gigantic my belly is. Why is it there? That's the, that is my quest. My quest is to find out why it is there. And I truly believe that the way that I metabolize food is different than the way someone like, let's say, my husband metabolizes food. We can eat exactly the same food, and I look like I'm nine months pregnant. My husband, stick figure. Stick figure. So, I've been doing a lot of research um, on my own, and also through the Institute of Integrative Nutrition, where I'm going to school, on different metabolic types and what types of food are best suited for certain types of metabolizers. Some people metabolize carbohydrates like a dream. They can eat the raw pie diet all day long, healthy, happy, no problem. That's why there are people out there who can be fruitarians and really thrive. And that's awesome, especially if that's the way that you want to eat. And then there are people who, what's wrong, Beckett? And then there are people who can metabolize any, anything. They can metabolize fat and carbohydrates, and their body knows exactly what to do with it. Voila! Fantastic. You can eat like a balanced diet. And then there are some people, and I believe that I fall into this category, who metabolize fat better as fuel than carbohydrates. I have what is called metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome means central obesity, okay? Yeah, you've seen it, the belly, she's mighty. It means high triglycerides. My cholesterol is not high, the overall number isn't high, but my triglycerides are high. Um, it also, polycystic ovary syndrome happens when you have this metabolic syndrome, okay? So, for people who have metabolic syndrome, it is recommended 
that you go on a low carbohydrate diet. And it with raw food, and that's not so hard to do. I mean, you're eating greens and then you add stuff onto your big giant plate of greens that are low carbohydrate. You know how you make yourself some salad dressing, you put some nuts in there, some non-starchy vegetables, and you can eat a pretty low carbohydrate diet even if you're raw. Uh, Gabriel Cousins program, his phase one and phase 1.5, even phase two of the rainbow green diet, very low carbohydrate. You know, and that's the diet that um, he puts out there to help people get their blood sugar and their diabetes under control, which insulin resistance is also part of metabolic syndrome, okay? So we're starting to see a trend here. We've got insulin resistance, abdominal fat, high triglycerides. We need to be on a low sugar diet. My problem is that my body, I have metabolic syndrome, hey, but you know what, I know what to do about it, so there we go, I can fix it, but my body does not process nuts and seeds very well, so I'm having to eliminate those from my diet as well, so what I'm doing is instead of, of eating more nuts and seeds and more on the uh, Rainbow Greens 1.5 or one Level 1 Rainbow Green Diet. I'm going to be adding lots of greens, lots of non-starchy vegetables, but I'm also going to be um, having a couple of pastured eggs for breakfast with some raw butter and then having my big salad and I might be making a ranch dressing with some raw buttermilk, making my own dressing, and I'm going to be doing a low carbohydrate version of the raw diet using raw animal products in place of the nuts and seeds that my body can't digest. Um, I'm also going to be using cultured dairy products and you really need to read up on cultured dairy products because they're very beneficial. Kefir, it's amazing. It, it, in, in Turkish it actually means feels good feeling good, and it really, it has all of the power of a probiotic and a prebiotic, but it not only feeds the good bacteria that's already in your intestine, it actually can colonize good bacteria if you're running low. So if you're having intestinal distress, you may want to just read up on kefir. It doesn't have to be dairy. You can make coconut kefir. And Anne-Marie Gianni and Kevin, Kevin Gianni, they did a show on that. It's basically the same process, except instead of using raw milk to make your kefir, you use coconut water. Put little kefir starter grains in there, let it ferment, put it in the fridge, drink it. It really, really makes you feel great. So I will be doing a low carbohydrate version of the raw food diet using some raw dairy products and animal products. And it's an experiment. We'll see how it goes. You know, see if I can start doing something different <laughs> and actually getting a different result. I have a problem with sugar. I cannot have it in my life. At this point in my life, I cannot have it at all. And that may be the case forever. I don't know. Taking this one day at a time. One day at a time. Um, that's where I am today. And I'm going to respect that. My body is telling me, if you have sugar, you are going to do the same thing over and over. Eat raw food. And then get the little, the monkey brain going. You want more sugar, you need more sugar, 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 sugar. Have candida in places on my body that you don't want to have candida. I have to stop the madness. I have to do whatever it takes to get this body burning fat and not worrying about sugar.